Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Real Talk Live with Arnett D. Love. And um, listen, I'm not in my regular location. I'm at my other office. But just the same, I am here. And today's topic is what are you waiting for? Okay, what are you waiting for? I mean, it's, it's something that you want to do. You have dreams. You have goals. There is something that is waiting for you to birth. What you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Do I know that you're not waiting for approval for anybody? I know that. I know that you're probably afraid, but sometimes you have to get out of the boat. Sometimes you have to stand on faith to believe that whatever it is that you want to do, you can do, that you can succeed and just do it. And guess what? If you fail, if you fail by chance, you start again. You do an after action review. Find out what you didn't do or what you need to do. Implement it and try one more time. We cannot continue to keep waiting for the right time. Guess what? There will never be a right time. All there is is right now. There will never be a right time. What are you waiting for? We have to do what we say we put our minds to. You know, I work. Um, hey, Pepita. I work for um, Parks and Rest with the kids part-time. You know, I'm retired. But I have businesses. I have three businesses. I have a consultant business. I have an entertainment agency. And I have a clothing business. And the thing is, I don't work my clothing business. But what I am going to do is what the things that I do in my consultant business and in my my agency, my entertainment agency business, it's going to go through the clothing business. I might want to have a shirt made that says something about me with my, with my face on it. And I thought run that through the clothing business, so I keep it. So what? My question is, you know, had I waited, I've been doing these business starting. I started my own businesses um, way before 2014, but these um, two of these in particular, that's when I started. And and the thing is, if I had waited, I'd still be waiting because there is never a perfect time. There's never a perfect time or never a right time. We just have to continue to keep pushing and if we fail guess what that's just a lesson learned take it as a lesson learned and start again start that business get married if that's what you choose to do have your baby come on buy your house buy a new car what are you waiting for because there is never really a right time and i can tell you that when you do what you're gonna do that's the right time. That is the right time. You will see. If you keep working at it, I always tell people what I was told. You want to push yourself. You want to work at your own business as if you are underwater and can't breathe. As if you just have to succeed. You have to make it work you can't breathe if you're not working to make your own business work that's how you have to work your own business and when you do that you're going to be successful because you're putting in the work you're putting in the elbow grease you're making what's yours prosper you can't just say i got a business and you don't work towards the business or I got a business and you don't put in a forth an effort because it's not bringing money right off. Let me tell you something. Businesses are not going to bring you money from the beginning unless you just got something awesome that the demand is so high for. It, it takes years before you actually see an income. And then sometimes it goes up and down. Like my first couple of um, years with my business, it was up and down. My jewelry and my clothing store was selling like hotcakes. Um, but the clothes wasn't selling, you know, um, with my in consulting business. When I wrote my book, at one time, I was making $200 a day selling my book. And then it slowed up because guess what? I had sold all to everybody that was around me that knew about 
out the book so it slowed up so guess what i had to do i had to branch out with the book so new people who hadn't seen the book will want to purchase the book so your business will go up and down up and down and look at these big businesses the same thing happens to them sometimes they go in the red and they have to revamp so we have to do that too as small business owners some days we have to revamp our business will go up and down our income will go up and down but the thing is you cannot stop you got to keep pushing as if you cannot breathe and, and know that because you can't breathe you have have to make it to the top where the air is you have to keep pushing till you get to the top so listen what are you waiting for whatever it is that you got on your mind to do i need you to go ahead and put forth effort to do it that club you want a club you want a lounge you want a bar you want a restaurant go start the process of doing that and do it the way you can you might have to start from home therefore you go downtown and to zoning and all that good stuff and get your your house fit for what you need to do and you get to doing you want a daycare you might have to start your daycare from home you do the same thing you go downtown to to zoning and you get that taken care of you what you cannot do is stop what you cannot do is be happy where you are you cannot you have to continue to push 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 even though my businesses don't bring me in a lot of money guess what is mine they are mine i'm happy with it the names belong to me it's my business is nobody can tell me what to do i go to work for somebody else and i do what they want me to do but the whole time in the back of my mind i know that i have my own i'm my own boss and if push come to shove and I have to start working for these people, I already uh, am an established business owner. I am a, an established author, okay? My stuff went to press. My books are produced. My books are copywritten. My programs that I write for kids are copywritten. You can't steal from me unless you want to be sued. Always protect yourself. Always protect your businesses, okay? But don't stop pushing yourself because people like to see you stop misery loves company and if you just keep pushing the words that he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies which means you don't have to worry about the haters because the haters going to continue to hate especially when you start eating in front of them understand especially when you start eating in front of them they're going to either continue to hate or they're going to give with the program and start trying to get their own. I do not care who hate on me. That's not my issue. That's their issue. And guess what? I be praying, Lord, build my table. Father, come on. Give me plenty so they can see just how good you are and how good you are to your people. Now, I have told y'all before who I serve, and you don't have to choose to serve them, but whoever you serve, I pray that he treat you as good or she treat you as good as God treats me. But the thing is, I serve Jesus. You know, I serve God, the, the Father, Jesus Christ, you know, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's who I serve, and, and I believe in Him because I know when I was down and out, and I didn't have anything, when I had was forced into retirement, because see, I retired, and by the grace of God, everything worked together for my good, but I was forced into retirement. I didn't want to retire. I was a young woman. And I, come on, I retired in 2015, y'all. What, about seven years ago? I was a young woman woman maybe 42 and i was forced into retirement i wanted to keep my job but i couldn't do it i couldn't do the job and so i you know i was scared i i, I didn't know what i was gonna do i did have um two of my businesses back then but they weren't doing anything because i was primarily doing my my main job and you know but what happened was god told me the holy spirit said i gave you something that will make you money. I gave you something that will make you money. And he did. He gave me those two businesses. He gave me that clothing business and he gave me that consulting business. And let me tell y'all something. Besides of the blessings that he was doing for me as far as having people bring money to me that they owed me and, and checks coming in the mail. Oh yes, checks was coming in my mailbox, honey. And I didn't ask for them, but that was good checks. I cashed them bad boys and I used them for my mortgage. And let me tell you something else. 
He said, I gave you something that will make you money. And listen, guys, I was selling books. I was selling them books. Like I told you, I was selling books, making $200 a week, selling my books. I was selling my jewelry. And I won't sell them the jewelry for a lot. I was cheaper than paparazzi, baby. I might have sold something for a dollar here, a dollar here. Before I know it, I had another $100. I, I was doing all that. I was going out speaking. So I would, you know, preach somewhere in, some, in somebody's church. I make good $250 to $500. I mean, I was, I was being blessed with the gifts that he had already placed inside of me. I was being blessed with the way, the avenue that he had already paid for me. So what I'm telling you is, whatever you have inside of you, it is sufficient for you. It will make a way for you. All you have to do is apply it and not give up and not stop. Sometimes people are not gonna ask you to come to I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody calling the wrong phone. Sometimes people are not going to ask you to come to their event. Sometimes you have to call them and say, hey, look, I saw where you're having something um, at your church. Or I saw you're having this seminar. Do you need someone to come and speak? If that's what you do, I am a natural orator. It, I mean, I had to develop it, but I, I'm a talker. I, I will talk you. To death. And, and, and guess what? I would advise you, if you let me, I will continue to advise you. But the thing is, sometimes you got to step out the boat. And you got to find what will help you. So, I mean, I ain't had no problem calling around and saying, hey, listen, I'm this, this, and this. I'm educated in this. I can do this for you. And, and I can do this for your, your program. Do you what is your budget like? You know, I can work with your budget, and this is what I charge. Do you are you able to um, accommodate me with that? I, I would need hotel. I would need you know. I can drive my own car, but I would need to be you know reimbursed for gas, stuff like that. And because you calling these individuals. You got to you gotta kind of work with them as well. So maybe they can't afford your gas. Well, whatever they, they paying you, you, add, you have that added in. You have your gas added in there. Well, if you can't pay me the 250 that I do, if you just give me, um, if you, you just give me $100 more, I guess I'm getting excited, y'all. I'm not in my regular workplace. I'm in my other office. I'm sorry. If you just give me 300 I can work with that. And you work with that because the, ob the the objective of the whole thing is to get your name out there and get more people calling you. And the people that's sitting in that seminar, you want them to see the best of you. You want them to see you working. You want them to see that you know how to do what you're supposed to be doing, whatever it may be. I don't care if it's selling houses. Do you, have you, I'm a realtor. Have y'all ever been seen, um, let me see, been to a seminar um, with with uh, people telling you how to sell houses and, and what to do. Let me tell you something. By the time you walk out of that seminar, baby, you you know that you can sell million dollar homes and you are so pumped up and pumped up. And if you stay pumped up like that, I promise you, you're going to sell more than what you normally would sell. You might not get to the million dollar mark, but sometimes what, what it does is once you get pumped up and then you get home and you don't apply yourself, what happens is you go back to that, I can't sell in the houses, the housing market is jacked up. But listen, the same jacked up housing market that you're talking about, these people over here making a killing, selling houses two and three a week. It's how you apply yourself. And when you apply yourself and people start talking about you because that doggone... Um, referral system is nothing but the truth and so you got to be positive in the things that you do i don't care if you're cutting grass i don't care if you're taking out the doggone trash you got to be positive and what it is that you're going to do and when you do it you got to do it right don't have do it don't try to get over don't charge me a whole bunch of money and you do nothing something that i could be getting from somebody else that's where we mess up 
That's what we mess up. We want to get half a service, but we want to get all the pay. I had somebody do that to me. You want to charge me more than my lawn man. And you come out there and cut my lawn like a baby. The hair not even edged up. I call it hair. The lawn, but it's the grass. The grass not even edged up around the thing. And you talking about you don't do no weeding. Brother, I paid you more than I pay my regular lawn man. And he know that you can jack up a person's yard, but if you weed eat, if you you line it up baby the yard is looking like a million bucks and so that's the whole thing when you do what you do whatever it may be do it well so that the word of mouth would carry so that people would know you so they will refer you to other folks that's how your money gonna make room for you that's what your, well, your gifts let me say that that is how your gifts is gonna make room for you and bring you money bring you what you need you can be in your own business okay we gotta follow the laws of the land so what i'm saying is don't do anything illegally but you can do your own business and when you do your own business please do it well whatever it is i don't care if you braiding hair i i i i don't care what you're doing do it well so people will go talk about you positively what are you waiting for? I didn't come up here to really give you a sermon, but it just comes out this way because I am so passionate about people doing what they can do for themselves. I am so passionate about people using their abilities for their purpose in life. And, and so I know it can be done. Listen, let me tell y'all something because this is my story and I can talk about it. Missy Elliott, the same Missy Elliott who they just named the street after. Um, she and I were classmates and we were also friends, okay? I'm actually, Missy was about the only one that really friend, befriended me at, at first when I changed schools. And so uh, my mom used to say, she's your only friend. But she wasn't my only friend. But, you know, we, we were, I was comfortable with her um, talking to her and stuff. Because I came from a school where we was pretty rough. Y'all know whoever went to Crowdout, we was pretty rough. And so when I went to Manor, which was actually a laid-back school and had all the, the upper-class kids there, you know, um, come to school, dressed up, makeup, and hair done every day, uh, you know, but I kind of, me and Missy, you know, kind of became friends and whatnot. But we were walking to, we were walking together one day, and Missy told me this in the hallway. I never get it. We were by the little theater, and Missy told me, "I will make it. I will be successful. I'm gonna be rich. I will be." Okay, and she spoke that into herself. I'm sure daily, but when she told me that. I believed her. I knew she was telling me the truth. I knew she was going to be rich. I knew she was going to make it. I knew she was going to be wealthy. And now look at my friend. My friend is wealthy. My friend is well known all over the world. And, and so what I'm saying is the same thing that Missy Elliott did. The same way she sp spoke that over her life. The, what she told me. That's the same thing that we should be doing, speaking that positivity over ourselves into our lives. I will be this. I will do this. I know it will work. I might have to come back to it and deviate it a little bit, but as long as I keep pushing, I will be successful. And that's what we have to do for ourselves, you know, I never forgot that about Missy. And when I spoke to her a few years ago, I was telling her how I had um, some stuff that she had did when she was in high school. I had some of her poetry and she wanted me to send it to her, but I won't go send it to her. I ain't, nah, I ain't going to send it to you, but I won't use it either until she passed. If she passed before me, I might bring it out, um, you know just to say hey this is my friend we did this and that done. uh -huh. but i'll never use it while she's living because that's not what type of friend i am because when you are a friend you need to be a friend not try to be profiting off of your friends you know so no matter what i would never use her her literature but the thing is she was so positive she spoke progression over herself that's what i'm encouraging you to do 
all of us to do because God isn't finished with me. He's not finished with me. I'm I'm where on the right path of where I want to go, but I'm not altogether where I need to be or where I desire to be. And ne neither are you. And if you're already successful, you got more coming. You have more coming. Claim it. Work for it. Speak it into existence. So I'm asking you right now, what are you waiting for? Get out there and start that new business or get out there and get that new job that you desire. And if you can't get a job, baby, let me tell you something. Create your own. Create your own job. There are so many things that you can do that's not going to cost you a lot of money. And guess what? All you have to do is look it up. Look on the internet. Find out what jobs cost um, under $500 to start. Find out. I mean, to buy to, for a fictitious name, meaning if you, the name of your company, like um, I have, my name is Real Talk Live. What are, you know, that's my name. My my name for this company here is, is um, Real Talk Live LLC. So whatever I put after Real Talk Live, that's, you know, added on to my name. But my name is Real Talk Live LLC. And so that in, in the state of Virginia, that's mine. I bought it. I paid for it. And it didn't cost a lot, you know. So you find your name. You pay for your name. From your name, you know, you get it. You get um, your your um, SEC, which means whether your cor corporation type like mine's LLC or whatever. Whatever. And and you know you just go from there, you go from there and you build your company. Now listen, you could have a business and not have a building really because you can work from home, and, and or you can have a business and you're not even doing anything. But when you get ready and when you get the opportunity to start working in your business, you can do so. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, there's nothing to stop you. There's nothing to stop you right now but you. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? Let's do this. Let's get ourselves accomplished. If it's something that we don't like about ourselves, if it's something that we don't like about ourselves, we need to go ahead and change it. We need to go ahead and do something about it. Okay? If it's something that we feel we need to change. Now, I'm not talking about what somebody else feel that they need to change about us. I'm talking about something that we feel that we should change on our own. If that is the case, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, get started on it. Make yourself happy. See, doing something because somebody else said you should do is not going to make you happy. But doing something that you feel that you should do is definitely going to make you happy. Let's start making ourselves happy. Let's start moving with to our own beat, to our own sheet of music. And let people come in our, our party, our comp composition. You understand what I'm saying? Let, let's do our own thing and let people join us. So many times we're joining other people's composition. We working for other people's job. We got to be told how to what to do and how to do it from other people. We're not our own boss most of the time. I promise you, if you start a business while you're working with someone else, you won't care about what is going on at that job except what it is you're supposed to be doing. You're not going to be trying to be all up in nobody's business. You're not going to be trying to correct the boss man for his own stuff because you going to have your own and you're going to be more concerned about your own and how you can make your stuff succeed you're not going to care about the the makeup of somebody else's stuff okay you just gonna want to do what they ask you to do get that check and get gone but then you can put all your time and to what you got going on for your business that's what i do i'd be like okay you need me to do what i got you you need me to do it when i'll be there you know and then when i'm done doing my job that i'm getting paid for i go do 
and work my business, my passion, and putting blood, sweat, and tears in it, and, and doing stuff, and trying to encourage other people to do the same. That's what I do. That's why I get excited at trying to get people out there that listen to me to go do their own thing. You can do it. The same thing you're doing for somebody else, most of the time you can do it for yourself. Like, especially if you're a cold or a medical coding person, you can do that for yourself. If you know what you're doing, if you're good at it, you can work your own business. You can get you contracts to um, these companies and the doctors will pay you. And at least they have direct um, contact with you, um, direct communication with you. But the thing is, they don't have to pay any benefits for you or anything because you are an independent contractor. So they'll let you do their coding and all that stuff for them, medical coding. Think about it. Open up your own businesses. Use what you're doing for someone else to help you. What are you waiting for? What are we waiting for? We can move mountains. We can turn things inside out. All we have to do is apply ourselves. All we have to do is apply ourselves. So let me encourage somebody today to go out there and do it. Whatever it is that you're waiting on, stop waiting and go out there and do what you do and do it well. Listen, I know this was a short show today, but guess what? I pray that it was meaningful for you and I pray that someone got something out of it and I pray that you stop waiting and you go get what's yours listen you know the deal God loves you I love you make sure you love yourself and go on and love someone else until we shall meet again may you be continuously blessed Thank you for joining Real Talk Live with Arnett D. Love. Have a wonderful week.